Alessio, ciao. Hallo. Hi, Mitya. Hier ist jetzt am Arm arriving. Ja, ja. Ah, we have prepared something spectacular. Okay, I'll, I'll be there in a while. Okay, see you, see you. Bye. Hello, welcome in Centro Stile. My name is Mitya Borgert. I'm the head of design of Automobili Lamborghini. And today here for Bermann Auto Style, we have prepared uh, something really special. And we want to give you some insights in the design of the Huracan STO. And then later I will have a very big surprise for you and for everybody um, that is in love with the Lamborghini Countach. But uh, see you later for this one. So let's start with the first thing. So this is the design model of the Huracan STO. And this is the way we are visualizing uh, the design model. So it's a hard model. Um, this is uh, the moment uh, when we had the design freeze and we are remilling the model to check for ourselves if everything is in the right place. And we are also able here in Color and Trim to try a couple of liveries. So this is the launch livery. Um, like we presented the car. So, but let's start with the front. Um, the front is designed in a way that we took uh, inspiration uh, on the Huracan rear-wheel drive and we have it combined with all the de design uh, features of the GT3 and the Super Trofeo cars. So for me, every surface here is representing a functionality. So everything is here created for downforce, the S-duct. Um, the front is uh, something special because we wanted to also shave off every gram on the car's weight. So it is a, a one clamshell hood that we call in Italian cofango. And cofango is, cofano is the hood and the, the, the fender is uh, parafango and we have combined this into one word, cofango. It's our nickname for this, so one clamshell hood. Um, then I like, for example, how the livery is here connected uh, with this s uh, theme. Then to uh, transport the hot air out of the front wheels while braking, while using it uh, really in a high performance moment. We have integrated here those beautiful louvres that are uh, sucking out the hot air and also integrating here the fast locks. Um, having a look further to the side, you can see here one significant feature that is for me very important uh, also for the STO. It is clearly taking this air scoop and the center fin and this is a clear element um, that we are taking from the race cars, from the Squatter Corsa cars. Something also here that I like a lot uh, is the treatment of the rear fender. So we have here this quite uh, significant blade. Um, it's in, taking inspiration from the Ascensa hypercar that we have created. And usually the Huracan is here uh, with a full shape. So we took off all this shape. So you have much more rear shoulder. Plus that we have here created a channel that is now allowing a much better flow towards the rear wing. And the rear wing, of course, for such a car that is dedicated for, um, yeah, that is really designed for the track they use, um, is of course the rear wing that the driver is able in a manual way to adjust and then to feel the car. So if you want to have a drifting fun, you put it in less uh, downforce and you can have more fun because the car is getting more agile. One feature, of course, that is really cool um, is when you look at the rear of the car, the high-mounted exhaust pipes um, are inspired from motorcycles. Um, in, in detail is this mesh here, very beautiful. We have this STO logo and the hexagon uh, iconic shape laser cut it into it. And also here the rear is finished with a beautiful um, yeah, Omega shape uh, that is also reminding our race cars. So, now it's my pleasure. After this beautiful design model, we have also the real thing. So I explained this car already with some motorcycle influences. So I'm a motorcycle guy. So when I have a track day, um, I drink usually in the morning a coffee, then I pack my stuff, you put it in the backpack and then you go. You can do the same with the STO. Basically, uh, we have here the big Kufango, the, the clamshell hood. And usually I would prepare my backpack, the helmet and put it inside. But now, today, for you, we have something very special because we are using now the little Kuntaj LP400 to go to the next 
Design Station. So stay tuned. It's now my pleasure to bring you to the next point. Come with me. So this moment for me is really, really special because, you know, we have here prepared all the Kuntaj and I would like to explain to you what is the magic for me about our design DNA. And I would like to start, of course, with the famous LP500. It's the concept car, the first concept car uh, that Lamborghini and Bertone presented in Geneva in 1971 and it is celebrating now 50 years of its beauty and of, of its impact in terms of design. For me, our design DNA is just starting here with the Kuntaj. It is about the single center line, the Kuntaj line. This is this unique line, you know, when you sketch this line, it's a, it's a Lamborghini. I have a funny story from the airport. Uh, once I had a small model, uh, it was scanned, you know, when you have this uh, X-ray scanning and uh, one guy was saying, ah, can you, can you open your pocket? And the other guy was saying, yeah, but you can see it's a Lamborghini inside. So this is for me the impact uh, of the Lamborghini shape. It is also the second important is for me the strong inclination of the greenhouse of the side window. All the other supercars have a bubbly uh, greenhouse and only a Lamborghini you can spot directly from front view. I love the purism, I love all these clean lines, uh, there is really a very puristic shape, there is this plan, sh also the, the plan, plane shape that you have here uh, with the horizontal lights and only here was written the Kuntaj writing uh, in, the, in the frontal grille. One detail that I really like uh, is this, um, this shark gill air intakes here, very cool and very yeah, significant for the first uh, concept car. And of course, last detail, I could explain so much more, but the last detail, it's the famous Periscopio. So the, um, Marcello Gandini designed here a little glass inside of the roof, so the driver was able to spot uh, the traffic behind him. Then we have another beauty here. It's the first um, one in production. It's uh, the Kuntaj number one, because everybody thought from the concept car, you could never do a production car but Lamborghini did, and Lamborghini created this car. So basically, the engineers uh, and the designers, they could keep all that is so important, uh, you know, all the design features from the LP500, and they created this car, they created their dream. So basically, uh, they needed to add here air scoops, because the engine, the V12 engine needed air, and um, they came up also with an idea that is the famous Naka air intake, that is a very significant feature um, on the LP400. Um, when you look at the rear, uh, for sure, what is very important uh, are these uh, very epic lines, uh, the Periscopio lines, so even the Periscopio made it into production um, without this little um, bubble that they had uh, before on the roof. And uh, this is for me the significant feature. One detail are these little air intakes here as well. So basically then also the body side is very clean, the, the body is rolling inside of the car so it's really a volume like a, yeah, like a disco volante, like a spaceship uh, on four wheels. Then um, in the late 80s, you know, the famous poster uh, Kuntaj, um, you know, when I'm speaking with the journalists or from the people of that period, everybody's saying I used to have this poster in my bedroom wall. Actually, I was born in East Germany, so I didn't have the access to those posters, but you know, the Kuntaj itself is still leaving an incredible impact to me. So the car here was prepared um, for the 25th anniversary of Lamborghini. It is a car that is, uh, of course, taking a couple of design features then of the 80s. 
such as the you know, front spoiler or the rocker panel with those, um, yeah, also here shark gill air intakes and uh, even here the air scoop was uh, yeah, redesigned. So this was the famous line uh, of the classical and then we thought there's unfinished business. So uh, since I'm here at Lamborghini, um, we were always dreaming about this one here. So this one is our homage. Um, it's the homage of all Centro Stile team uh, about you know the Countach, and we wanted to create the Countach of the 21st century. Uh, we wanted to create a car that is pu uh, really, purely speaking, 21st century. It's a car that is taking all the lines, um, all the inspiration uh, from the Countach of the past, and I uh, would like to start also here from the front. You know, li like I just explained on the yellow LP500. Also here we've brought in the straight um, front. Um, of course today we have to respect a couple of crash uh, test uh, requirements so we cannot go deadly straight but we took it as much as possible. Then only on this one here we are bringing back the front grille also with the Countach writing. Then I wanted to have this car super puristic so also here just the diagonal lines uh, such, on the, such as we, they have done on the original car. Front lights, super slim. We have a DRL that is really like a laser blade, uh, super slim. Coming and turning towards the side view of the car, we took inspiration, especially on the wheel arches on the Quattro Valvole version. And we said one thing is very important, we wanted to bring back also here the Periscopio, but the Periscopio of the 21st century has to be a photochromatic glass roof. So we took um, this theme and we have created also here this epical theme of the uh, Periscopio lines that are kind of opening towards the rear of the car. I spoke about the Shark Gill air intakes, we took, the, we, we brought them back here. I, well, I spoke about the Naka air intake, this car is our uh, next car that is going hybrid. So this car is having more than 800 horsepower, so we also hear this engine needs to breathe and we brought back here in a very 21st century style the Naka air intake. One of my for sure favorite views on the Countach in general is the rear view and it's really spectacular. So we wanted to have a car that is taking, if you want, inspiration from Star Wars or it's looking really like a, uh, like a spaceship. It's a car that is yeah, sketched in a very puristic way. And also here, it was my wish and my dream to not have any wing because we were saying we want to have the 21st century uh, Countach with a movable wing because we have today this technology. So that's why the wing is integrated. And then for me, one very important feature as well are these hexagonal uh, lines that we have here that are also taking the inspiration from the original Countaches of the past. Usually there was always uh, the taillight uh, uh, divided in three, so we brought them back also here with a, a hexagonal shape in a very, very modern way. I spoke uh, before, I'm a motorcycle guy, you know, what is always inspiring me on the Countach is this motorcycle look of the rear. So basically, um, the significant cutting away of, the, of all the rear of the car we wanted to have with the spectacular view on the rear wheels uh, that is also very particular for the Countach. And last but not least, we have here still a V12 engine hybridized and this is for me like a music machine like a, and the music ne the machine needs to have a nice speaker and so that's why we brought back also here the inspiration on the four pipe um, exhaust pipe system and we have recreated here a very modern and very technical um, yeah, a, a variation of this exhaust uh, of the original Countach. I'm in love with this car, it is so puristic. Um, just the last word on the color and trim. Um, we painted this car in, in this puristic white uh, with some blue flake inside of the color and the interior is done in red, such as the Countach of Ferruccio Lamborghini in the 80s.
Welcome to Auto Style Design Competition 2021 and welcome Mitya Barker. Ciao Alessio, ciao. Thank you so much. Thank you to opening this uh, secret space with all these beautiful cars, the history of the Countach. And I want to start uh, from, from the ending. I really appreciate the good strategy on uh, creating uh, really good hype about the new Countach, just unveiling little secrets some details on the, on the social, and then at the end, uh, everything uh, were mad about the new Countach. Uh, you did it. Did yes. Uh, Alessio, first of all, welcome here. I think this, this, what we have here, is something really special uh, because the team was preparing all the Countaches, so we have the, the first one, the, the very first very concept cool. car, LP500. Mm -hmm. So, you know, to talk in this environment is really spectacular. So. Special and special, very special, so good to have you. Um, first of all, uh, you know, for us, uh, it was already clear last year when we saw each other uh, yeah, sure. online, uh, I think it was already clear that we will have this uh, 50th anniversary. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. but um, actually we had a year ago uh, during the, the Corona time, during the COVID well, time, wow. we had the go for the project. Uh, maybe we can speak after a little bit about this period. But of course, it's, uh, you know, today the world is so, let's say, how can I say, full of news, no? So, you know, sure. to really also do something new was, uh, you know, we had a lot of, I, let's say, ideas. We wanted to have a video about the Countach, the model, and so on. And, uh, but, you know, the best is if you can keep the secret, you know, at least until the day before, you know. Sure. But, you know, today there's always something sneaking out, yeah, but we could keep it really a secret. Yeah. And uh, you said that was a, a closing period, just a lockdown, but you can work uh, even during the lockdown, just a smart working with your team, with your beautiful team. Yeah, the team that we have uh, is really in Centro Stile, but all Lamborghini is a very small family. The design guys are, for me, the strongest on the planet. Uh, so first of all, also I take the occasion, thank you to all of you. Um, so to create the Countach was for us a challenge. Of course, we had already some ideas floating before, um, because of, of course it was clear there was the year, uh, the, the year 2021 is arriving and we wanted to celebrate properly the Countach. But we had the official go from the company, uh, like I said, a year ago, and was just before the lockdown of, co of the COVID. So basically, we were all uh, at home. So the meetings in the morning with my boss, Maurizio Reggiani, the developer, also the GTO of Lamborghini, we had uh, eight o'clock in the morning, for example, the first coffee speaking about it. Then I had the design meetings online, um, you know, where I took my screen and they were showing me the data, the mathematics. I took my, you know, famous tapes, put it them yeah, sure. on, this, on the I screen. Some some Sometimes I went crazy because he wanted to explain a line, uh, put this line lower, but then of course the other, uh, the other side of the computer doesn't know which line you mean, so I took a, a tape, took a photo, SMSed it through, and so we were kind of, or do, did a little sketch, no? So yeah. like this we were um, communicating between St. Agatha, uh, the south of Italy, uh, one designer was in, in Korea, uh, I was in Germany, so everybody was, you know, where he was at this day when Without we decided boundaries. the lockdown, no? Without boundaries, without no, without yes. limits to yes. to create something. But it was kind of a MacGyver period, no? So oh, you, yeah, you, sure. you needed to find to your, something to, exactly. uh, to go on. And so uh, when, when, for example, this model that you see here, yeah? it is a model that was from the development period. And uh, I said, guys, I need the data. So with my supplier or the supplier that we have to do the, the models, we have created this little model. So on my balcony where I was, I was taping on this model, also requesting changes and so on. So it was really uh, a very progress, super so. cool process, I have to say. Not easy every minute, no? okay. but it was fun. And in the end of the day, the result is As something a real really perfect. And a very short period to create just a full car that uh, is going on uh, production. Uh, that's the magic, and this is, but this is what, what it has to be at Lamborghini. We, can, we are able to create such a car in less than one year. Yeah, it's a very short period. Yes. And uh, Kumchach is uh, a popular meat for people. It's not only Lamborghini, it's also a Kumchach. So, for example, in my childhood, I uh, bought my first toy of Lamborghini Kumchach as a transformer in 1984. Okay, 
from a Japanese brand, brand and was my favorite toy because it was not only a Lamborghini car, it was only, also a robot. Mm -hmm. um, which was your first uh, contact with the uh, with the Countach? In yeah, this is for me, uh, you know, when I speak with the journalist or other designers uh, that have my age, they always say, I used to have this poster yeah, of a Countach yeah. on my bedroom wall. So I have a different, let's say, uh, a different uh, kind, I mean, a, a different uh, way of growing up because I was born in East Germany. Okay. So in East Germany, there was for sure, I don't know if there was even one Countach in East Germany. For sure not, yeah. So basically, uh, you know, um, the designs of Marcello Gandini, the first car that I remember, I was maybe, I don't know, six, seven years old playing with the football. Uh, we went to the Baltic Sea and there was this Citroën BX parked. Oh, okay. Very spaceshipy car among all these Trabants and Wartburgs and uh, Ladas. And I, I, I remember me looking at this car thinking, wow, this looks quite spacey, you know? So, I mean, whatever that means in East Germany, the term <laughs> spacey, yeah? But it was kind of significant. No, I think um, I, I, I was um, before at Porsche and I was already a fan of Lamborghini, but I was always looking into the future of cars because, you know, I wanted to be, become a car designer myself and I wanted to learn everything to, to, to be creative. So my, my real Countach moments are here in, the, in, the, in Lamborghini. Basically, the Countach is for me a car... Um, that is having, uh, you know, the impact on Lamborghini in terms of design DNA. So the design DNA of Lamborghini um, is for me are two things, are two ingredients, like a good pasta. No, there is yeah. always good, you know. <laughs> so um, it's first of all, it's about the silhouette, the, sure. the, the Countach line, the, the silhouette. Here I have maybe two, here I tell you one funny story, maybe I, you heard it before, but I have a, I have a son, now he's seven, yeah? but when he was two years old, he could not even uh, overlook this table here, and you know, on Sunday I was sketching, and um, I just started a sketch of a Lamborghini just doing the, 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 the center line, and he came uh, still uh, really young, he said, Papa, Lamborghini, okay. and that made me think, because you know, just the silhouette. Clear. Yeah. The, the style. Yes, and this, for me, my key moment where I thought, yeah, our, our silhouette is so significant and outstanding, and there are not many other brands that have such an impactful uh, silhouette. And the second funny story uh, happened um, because, you know, I, my, my Countach moments are at home because I have all the small models and, you know, I have all the toys. Also, we have yeah. at home uh, those uh, Japanese Terminator models where you, yeah. can, you have this Countach and then in the end looks like a Terminator. Um, what I wanted to say is I bought um, a model, 1 to 18 scale, and I needed to fly. So I put it in my hand luggage and, uh, you know, at the airport it was scanned. So it was going through. I, I should have taken a photo because it was looking cool in the in my backpack. And the guy was saying, "Ah, stop! Is this your uh, backpack?" And then uh, I, I, he wanted me to open. And then the other guy said, "No, no, let him, let him. It's a Lamborghini. It's clear." <laughs> you know. So he has seen also here. You know, in terms of you know just the silhouette, he he understood mm -hmm. this is a Lamborghini. So and this is what is the strength of us. So we have Absolutely. this unique design DNA all born with the LP500 and uh, you know um, we are keeping this design DNA very open because you know I, I, I do believe that we need to create something unexpected so we want to create this pasta recipe as a silhouette and you know when you see the car in front view always this um, strong inclination the strong angle of the side windows so even when you see our cars arriving in, in front view you see from a mile away what is arriving and, um, but with this um, DNA, we are able to create cars like a Terz Millennium. We are able to create a Vision Gran Turismo. We are able to create the Cyan or the Urus or whatever Lamborghini of the future. And that is giving us a tremendous freedom in terms of design. And we can say less is more, like in, in our architectural uh, building, because uh, you can maintain the, the same uh, uh, pure lines in the new Kunta chest in the in the very first by Marcello Landini. I think it's the most recognizable in, uh, in the evolution of the Countach. So uh, after 50 years, we have uh, uh, the heritage that uh, is flowing inside this, this model. Uh, the question is interesting. For me, uh, important is that, uh, first of all, we have to see that uh, a Lamborghini is a Lamborghini. For me, the second is, uh, you know, I'm, I'm comparing this with music. Uh, if you have an artist, 
that is out there, like uh, Depeche Mode or Madonna, and or Ma Ma at the time uh, Michael Jackson. So they did their style, but they always Change. invented. They always changed. You know, there was always something new. And this is, I'm, I'm very convinced that you need to do something like this. So for Lamborghini, it's important. We cannot only chalk the world. We need to create a Lamborghini, one that is more puristic and another one more crazy. So you know. For me, this momentum has to be so all the time something unexpected. So this is for me uh, my number one when we are uh, creating a car. So first of all, if it is of today, then you know it has to be something um, where one car is really different to, to the other car within the range of Lamborghini, or we create uh, the Countach. And then for me, it's important um, that the new Countach is uh, continuing the Fier Rouge of the, of the Countach because the car was born in a very puristic way. Even Bauhaus uh, people would say, ah, this is a cool car. Yeah, maybe today cars with the wings are maybe not following the Bauhaus form, follows function. Yeah? And uh, in the end of the day, uh, the spirit of the first uh, Countach, we have, uh, we, 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 I mean, on this I'm very happy, we could keep it for the new one, you know, because the new one is really clearly taking inspiration from all the Countaches of the past, you know, the, um, the, the grill with the Countach writing, the, the shark gill air intakes of the LP500, but then also the wheel arches, the hexagonal wheel arches uh, that we took. For me, it was important that to create something that you can sketch with two lines, and yeah. then also um, the surfacing is a bit more human. So you can, you know, you want to wash the car almost. Now, all, when you look at the car in rear view, you see this kind of Star Wars spaceship yeah. rear end that is so significant uh, for the Countach. I mean, on the result, I'm very happy. Yeah, it's a beautiful, uh, it's a beautiful car, and I know for sure that all the people uh, are um, going crazy about that. And the very last question of our interview is: uh, uh, 15 years, 50 years are between the two models. Uh, what you can do in the 70s and you cannot do in the, in the contemporary, and uh, which is the upgrade for the 2021 Countach? It's also a very nice question. I see it like this. In, when the Countach was born, it was a period when the car industry was not yet ready to work with aerodynamic. So there was an assumption of the designers what could be aerodynamic, but it was before. So also when you remember Motorsport at the time. Yeah. Today, um, our new Countach is a car that can reach a top speed of 355. It is a, having a hybrid powertrain, 12 cylinder with more than 814 horsepower. And uh, you know, I'm really uh, happy that we could keep this purism of the first one reaching the performance of a hypercar of today. You know, it's, it's, it's within the list of the, you know, in terms of top speed, like a Veneno, uh, yeah. or, you know, or the SVJ. So, but, you know, but at the end of the day, we could reach all the requirements that we have internally at Lamborghini to create such a car. We could keep it uh, with, uh, you know, the integrated but movable rear wing. And we have, you know, it was such a tremendous work to integrate the aerodynamic in this puristic car. This was my personal challenge, and um, we did it, yeah? because you can imagine, sure. you know, every, can see it, every, uh, every in the millimeter. Model, uh, yes. in, the, in the full scale car, and uh, the production will be so exciting. So, thank you so much to open us from Auto Style Design Competition 2021, your door for the uh, Countach uh, culture, Countach experience, and uh, I'm sure that uh, everyone wants to know more about this one and then you can just follow all the videos and all the messages that uh, are speaking about the new Countach. Thank you so much. Grazie Mitya. Alessio and uh, thank you uh, Berman Auto Style and uh, un grande grazie a Roberto Attioli. Senza di te questo non c'è. Okay, thank you so much sure. and uh, yeah, thank you to my, all my team and everybody at Lamborghini. Thank you.